Welcome to Kuala Lumpur, where vibrant culture and delicious cuisine awaits around every corner. Today, we are diving into the heart of one of Asia's most beloved culinary traditions, hot pot, or how it's better known here, steamed boat. Malaysian hot pot is more than just a meal, it's a celebration of diversity, bringing together influence from Malay, Chinese, Indian and indigenous cultures. From foreign spices to fresh seafood, Malaysian hot pot showcases the rich tapestry of flavors that define this barbaran culinary landscape. It's not just about the food, hot pot dining is a social affair, a time honored tradition that fosters connection and community. Is everything hot pot, doesn't matter the weather, if it's cold or if it's hot, hot pot is always the good choice. Now, hot pot is like a communal dining which origi originated in China more than probably a thousand years ago. Perished for its rich, um, rich taste, communal dining and overall great experience. Hot pot in itself is more than just food, it ju it's a way to bring people together, to dine together, enjoying uh, an atmosphere of conviviality around the steam pot of boiling uh, of boiling broth. So join me while I try this uh, culinary masterpiece of Asian cuisine. First thing first, you are going to choose which kind of broth you are going for for your hot pot. And then head to the saucer counter where you can customize and create your own sauce. There are so many different flavors to choose from and honestly it's pretty hard to choose just one thing to try and I have no idea which kind of sauce I was supposed to go for so I kind of pick what catch my eye, uh, in this case a bit of soy sauce, sesame sauce and also some cilantro to give it a kind of zestiness and of course as the most important step we are going to choose which kind of ingredients you want to cook inside your hot pot Okay guys, this is actually my first time trying hot pot. It's my first time ever. I just asked the waiters to give me some suggestion because I never tried it before. So let's try it out. I choose two different broth, one which is a bit more uh, spicy and with Sichuan pepper and the other which is my broth and it's a very interesting concept you basically just dip your uh, your ingredients inside the broth which uh, makes it very pretty, very quickly to, to fry let's try it out actually oh. it's pretty spicy the broth is pretty spicy <laughs> it's really spicy and I also opted for a, a sauce with peanut, a peanut sauce with soy sauce that you can make like, you can literally make your own sauce. Okay, let's try the pork belly. It's really, it literally takes like just a few seconds to, to be ready. And let's dip it in the, in the sauce a little bit. Mm. Oh gosh, that's really, really good. And the sauce, it kind of toned down a little bit the spiciness of the broth. I mainly took the pork belly, but I must say that with the peanut sauce that I choose, it makes it a little bit more salted. Honestly, it's a really nice and interesting experience because, I mean, you cook your own food and I have no idea what this is actually. It just was just something that I never tried before and I wanted to try. So. 
once you get used to the spiciness, it's okay. But I really like the concept, but I also like the fact that it's quite intimate in this restaurant specifically. Actually, I'm very curious to know which kind of broth you usually prefer or which kind of sauce you usually prefer or you, they are your go-to for the hot ones because like I said, I'm a complete new buy when it, a new buy when it comes to hot pot. This is my first time ever. Like I was saying, it's a very nice concept, mainly of uh, like it's meant to be to be eaten together. But anyway, if any of you know what this actually is, please let me know in the comments because I have no idea, I have no idea what I choose. And you know, um, hot, hot pot, it's, I mean, Kuala Lumpur, like since the vast majority or a big part of the population here in Kuala Lumpur, it's like, it's made of Chinese people, of course. The cuisine, it's highly influenced by Chinese. It's very famous in China since probably two thousand a thousand a year ago. And uh, it's a way for just gather together and eat delicious food. In uh, um, also, even though I'm a new buy, I heard and I just took the suggestion immediately by hand is to just ask for a cup of noodles, which is what I did, like hand handmade noodles. To eat when the broth it keeps simmering for for a long time, so the, what it remain you can eat it with your noodles, which is really really good. It tastes amazing, honestly. That was it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and leave a comment down below. And I'll see you soon.